more primitive method, I like it even better. Now look, when we have fractions, we're really only worried about the fractions for uh, the y's and x, basically the variables. So I've got four and six. I'm gonna multiply the denominators, as strange as it sounds. So I'm gonna do four times six, I'm gonna get 24. I'm multiplying the whole kit and caboodle by 24. Okay, it is primitive. It's not finding least common denominator. I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna go primitive and it's gonna work out as long as I'm careful with the fractions at the end. So multiplying everything by 24, both sides that is. On the left-hand side, that's gonna work out to be 18y. On the right-hand side, I wanna be a little careful about this. Uh, 24 times 5x over six. The 24 and the six cancel out the four, so that's 20x. And then um, two thirds of 24 is 16, so it's going to be minus 16. Now again, I would just now solve for y. So I'm going to divide by the coefficient of y, which in this case is 18. So I'm going to divide both sides by 18. And then I get y equals 20x over 18 minus 16 eighteenths. Now, one of the things about this method is, in most cases, you are going to have to really check to make sure you have lowest terms. And you know, you can do that anyway, so it's not like that burdensome of a thing to do. So um, 20 and 18 in this x term are both divisible by two, so I get 10x over nine. And this 16 over 18, hey, both are uh, divisible by two, so I'm left with uh, eight ninths there. So I get y equals 10x over nine minus eight ninths. Totally works. So just remember, multiply the denominators of um, all your, your variable terms, in this case, the four and the six was 24. That's the key.